Well, hello there, Cyberland. My name is Marlon. The channel is Old Part Hacks, and today we're going to take a brief look at one of the other aspects of uh, dealing with the uh, running board parts for the power running boards for Lincoln Navigators and F-150 pickup trucks and the Expeditions as well. What we're looking at right now are these rubber bumpers. Let's take them out. This is a T-15 uh, screw. And they just unscrew, of course. I just want to show you what's here. And then we have to go through the fun of seeing if you need to replace them, how to get replacement parts. As you were, If you've gone through my videos, you'll find that I toasted a couple of these early on not realizing what was there, and so on. So I just want to show you how these are installed, removed, and what's actually here. Notice that this is actually a bracket. See? Bracket. Oh, let me get a little more light on this. You know, I always forget to do that. Oh, much better. Well, not much better, but somewhat better. Okay, it's a little better. Anyway... The process, of course, is just to unscrew both of them. Well, we won't even unscrew both of them. Believe it or not, this one unscrews the same way. What you have in here is a slug of rather stiff, usually by the time you get to them, rather stiff rubber. I don't know if you can get this as a replacement part from Ford or not. But you could always just cut out. It's, it's a, a little softer than that originally. I have some here from another one I pulled apart. These have a little more give in them. About the same as a good pencil eraser, really. So, anyway, but that's how you take those things out. You have the bracket. Which actually has a Ford part number on it. FS or S F S M zero zero zero. The number up there looks like zero two. And then K P or P A six sixty three or something like that. Not the clearest thing, but anyway, that's how you take those apart. And of course, obviously, you put them back together by putting the parts back in and screwing them. The uh, wings on this clip, of course, just barely capture. Actually, I guess you're actually in. Well, anyway, yeah, they're applying side pressure onto it to clamp it in place, is what it's doing. Anyway. Quick video. That's what that's all about. So if you uh, are missing those stops, but if you can find the brackets or have the brackets, you can probably carve a stop out of just a piece of heavy-duty rubber. That's all I got for you right now, guys and gals. I hope you have a great day. Remember, don't get caught.